up. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed night. Y'all know I don't come on here late like this, so y'all already know. Praise God, praise God. So I'm going to wait till some of you come on. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him everything. Come on, somebody, because he deserves it. Oh, I feel the power of God already. He deserves it. He deserves it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm just waiting for you guys to come on in. Come on in. Go ahead and tag and share. I, I Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I don't see anybody. I don't know what's going on. Maybe, maybe I got it. No, I got it right. Yep. Praise God, praise God. Okay, I see you guys. All right, I'm going to go straight in. All right, so basically, this is... Good night. How you doing, Ingrid? Let me tell you what God has been putting on my spirit for about two or three days, and I was trying to get to y'all. And it's so crazy because everything... Man, I'm so full. I got so much to say, but okay. It's like with this journey of opening this business, right? It has been so many spiritual things that God has been sharing into is blowing my mind. So I'm just going to go in. I don't have time to play games. There have been some strange things. Though I like y'all don't know what I'm saying. Spiritual things, human things, whatever you want to call them. All right. Um, I'm going to say one, one thing. First of all, the lights in there are brand new. We went in there one day and it had like three dead bees. Them bees, them bees look like they was old as Methuselah. I don't know how they got in there. We took them out, whatever the case may be. Y'all know where I'm going. I'm used to spiritual warfare. I'm used to strange things. I'm used to spiritual things. I'm used to warfare. I ain't, I ain't scared. What's up? So, anywho, I notice it's been coming this way, that way. I'm talking about family, friends. It's just been coming. And I, I'm going to be very transparent because you need that. At one point, I did feel overwhelmed. And God said, and honestly, I just did a worship song. That's what he made me do. He said, stop everything. Go in the studio. He said, you're full. You're right where I need you to be. You're broken. Come on, somebody. He said, you're broken. He said, and every time you get broken, he said, what I do is I put some in and I take something out. I put something in and I take something out. He says, let me tell you something. And he told me to share this with my brothers and sisters. What you're willing to ignore will determine your growth, your destiny, your process, and what God has for you. The enemy wants your attention. I know this, and I'm just going to go here. I know the strange men. I don't want none of y'all. Did I just stop and say that like that? I sure did. The only person I, I'm ever going to want is if the one, if God chooses to send my husband. I don't want nobody. And I mean what I just say, and I'm not just saying that for Facebook. So with that being said, all kind of strange things. Go ahead, don't even come at me. Secondly, then we've been sending people to try to say ugly things, and and at one point, I have to be honest with you because we're human, right? You're like, what's wrong with them? You know, I don't know if it's jealousy, envy. It might be all of the above, right? Let's be honest. And God told me, said Diana, remember that tunnel vision? He said, that's what you need in this hour. He said, the enemy is trying to get your attention. That's when I caught it. I said, Lord, distractions. He is the master of distractions. What does he try to do? Especially when you're, when, when you're following everything that God says to do. When you are on the path that you know that God set you on. What he does. He send close cuts. That's family and friends. Acting crazy. Saying stuff. You be like, Ooh, where's that coming from? What's wrong with you? Secondly. He'll send situations out of nowhere. And I don't know if y'all notice it. It's like my, my computer is delayed, so you already know it. that means somebody didn't tap in or they're doing something, whatever. But women and men of God, be steadfast, be unmovable in this hour. Stay tunnel vision. I, hold on. I see what you're doing, but you can't stop me. I see what you're plotting and planning, but you can't stop me. I know you're trying to get my attention, but I don't see you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're understanding what I'm saying in this hour? And it ain't just about a business. It's, a, it's about everything. Family, friends, your mission, your job, your anointing, everything. The enemy is trying to stop you, said the Lord. Because he know God got something for you. God said, I have not forgotten you, man of God. I have not forgotten you, woman of God. He said, but it's a test. Let me tell you what people don't want to, they don't want to receive and they don't understand this. You don't just get anointed. What happens is every test 
is God allowing you to be tested to see if you're ready for what you prayed for? Ready for where you say you want to go? Ready? Come on, somebody. Because guess what? It's real. Different level, different devil. It's real. More money, more problems. It's real. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That stuff real. You know, T.D. Jake said this in 2004 because me and my best friend, we, we brought the book and, and, and we decree and declared. He said, can you stand to be blessed? And, and we went through it. Let me tell you what's can you stand to be blessed? Can you take the ridicule? Can you take the tests? Can you take the trials? Can you take the, the, the backstabbing? Can you take the mockery? Can you take the lies? Can Y'all ain't ready. Can you handle the stress? Hallelujah. I just said something. Because I'm going to be honest with you. The higher you go. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, God. I'm reminded of an eagle. An eagle, the higher they go. And think about yourself as an eagle. God is promoting you. What happens? Even in a plane, the higher you go, there's turbulence. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you got to know how to, how, how to balance yourself through turbulence, said the Lord. You can't get in your emotions. You can't get all trippy out. You can't get on Facebook and crook book and you, you know, hold your peace, said the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There are times I'm not going to lie. In the, <laughs> the last two weeks, I want to say some things. I want to do some. Let them know, look, I wasn't always saved. Don't test me. Don't trap me. Don't play with me. Oh, come on, somebody. And I heard the Lord say, shh. Let me tell you why he said that. He said, because vengeance is mine, said the Lord. And as long as you are in my right standing and you're doing what I said to do, I am obligated to fight for you. I'll be a friend to your friends and an enemy to your enemy. You don't have to do anything, says the Lord. What am I saying? Y'all paying attention to what they're saying. Y'all paying attention to what they're doing too much. Even on Facebook. That's, that's why people killing people, which are beacon in the name of Jesus. So much rage. This one disrespected me. This one did this. I'm going to tell you what I've been doing because I know what they're trying to do get my attention. I've been purposely acting like I don't see people. I've been purposely ignoring people. Now y'all know. I've been purposely acting like I don't even see them. I don't see you. Especially if you're talking nonsense because that's not where I'm at. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all better hear what I'm saying tonight. God has not forgotten you, man of God. God has not forgotten you, woman of God. But it is the way you act. This is your test. Oh, come on, somebody. He tested Abraham. He tested David. He tested Joseph. He tested Jacob. He tested Moses. Come on, somebody. Are you ready for your test, said the Lord? Because you got to pass your test. You could pray all day long and say, God, bless me. And God, do. can you handle it, says the Lord? Are you ready for the warfare that comes with the blessings? I just said something. Because some of you, you get mad when somebody say that much to you or somebody do that much to you. Well, they're talking about me. They're going to talk about you. They're going to clown you. Or they, they, they're going to do some things that make you want to come out of character, said the Lord. You're going to have to be strong in the Lord. And it could be family. It could be friends. It could be whomever. And I just want to get on here and encourage you and let you know that you stay with God. You be strong in the Lord. Because I'm going to tell you right now. We have come through too much hell. To let somebody stop you from getting blessed. To let somebody stop you from your destiny. To let somebody stop you from what God has for you. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody playing up in here. And you got to understand. The enemy will send whomever. And, and unfortunately I got to say something is real. You ain't, if you like me, you're not going to let no outside to get close to you. Who you think he going to use? He'll use your husband. He'll use your daughter. He'll use your brother. He'll use your sister. He'll use your father. He'll use your mother. Come on, somebody. You can't cuss everybody out. Your position is to pray for them and pray that God don't backlash them. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me tell you a story before I get up on here. You, you see, it was Moses and Miriam. And Miriam didn't really like who Moses married. Because she was Ethiopian. Y'all know she was black, right? Okay, well, let's just keep on going. And he and she started talking. <laughs> and God struck her with leprosy. And Moses had the audacity to go to God and say, God, you know, I forgive her. God say, I, I'm paraphrasing, you forgive her. But she's going to have leprosy for one more week and she's going to be out the camp because you are my servant. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all sitting up there trying to pay somebody back, trying to be slick on Facebook, trying to, y'all know. You ain't got to do all that. 
Hold your peace. And I know it hurts. Especially when you ain't did nobody nothing. And you ain't even messing with nobody. You just focusing. You just trying to do you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you today. Don't let the enemy get your attention. What are you willing to ignore? There are things you're going to have to ignore. You're going to have to ignore people talking about you. You're going to have to ignore a lot of stuff, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you right now. The spirit of jealousy is high in this hour. The spirit of envy is high in this hour. The spirit of anger is high in this hour. The spirit of rage is high in this hour. And the enemy uses whoever is the weakest. Y'all don't hear what I just said. Who is the weakest link? Because that's the person you better be praying for. <laughs> y'all better catch that. Hallelujah. Woo! That's all I got to say. Y'all know I don't come on here at night like that, but I was like, Lord, you want me to deliver that word? Because I'm going to be honest with you. And I got to, I got to keep it 100. I was like, God. And I know I heard God say, do this. Don't get it twisted. But I haven't been doing my videos like I normally do. I said, okay, Satan, I know what you're trying to do. But you can't stop me from my relationship with God. Not not no cafe, not no restaurant, not no money, not no honey, not no funny. I love God too much, Satan. You can't stop me. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God first. Always remember that. I don't know who that's for. Quit running after money and success. God first. I'm going to say it again. God first. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Matthew 6.33. Because I'm going to tell you what's happening with the body of Christ. Dr. Miles Monroe said this, and I live by it, and I, oh, I miss that man. If you run after success, you'll always be B-R-O-K-E. I don't even say that word. I haven't, I haven't said that word for years. I spell it. I promise you I don't say that word. If you run and, and after what God wants you to do, God will make sure that you are okay. But if you run after money, honey, and funny, you will always find yourself. And, and to be honest with you, some of y'all in a situation you are because you, that's what you're doing. Working two or three jobs, just greedy. I, I ain't got, to, I'm sorry, I ain't got no filter tonight. I don't never have none. Y'all just greedy. I want it all, I want it all. You're tired, you're worried, you, all this other stuff which I be in the name of Jesus. You ain't got no peace because you're doing it your way and not God's way. When it's God's way, the, the, there's a peace in your spirit. There's a calmness in your spirit. There's a knowing in your spirit that you ain't got to try to make nothing happen, which is manipulation, which is sin, which is witchcraft, which is rebellion. Hallelujah. All right, so God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. <laughs> Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. Won't like it, talk like it, act like it in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. God bless you.